Adidas Sportswear owns a monopoly on the three stripe brand for clothing. I want to talk about that today over the next four minutes. I'm Angela Langlotz, trademark and copyright attorney. I go live here on weekdays to discuss trademarks and copyrights. If you have trademark and copyright law questions, drop them into the comments below. I will answer them on a future live. So we've talked before about the Adidas branding and their three stripes, right? And today I wanted to show you an example of their trademarks for the three stripes for clothing. Now I went into the trademark database and asked it to show me the images of the trademark. So that's what I'm going to switch over to right now. So this is part of Adidas uh, trademark database and they have over 500 trademarks and this is just a couple of what they have registered. Now you can see here they've got a couple registrations for shoe trademarks with the three stripes. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But here you can see they've also got trademarks registered for the three stripes on clothing. You can see it here down the sleeve of the jacket and then also here on the side of this tank top. So let's have a closer look. Here's the mark for the tank top. Now this is for the goods and services clothing, namely shirts, t-shirts, sweatshirts, vests, jackets, and coats. It was first used in 1967 and it was registered in 2006. Why did they wait so long to register it? Well, perhaps because it's not inherently distinctive. So marks that are not inherently distinctive acquire distinctiveness over time. The less distinctive a mark is, the longer it takes for it to acquire distinctiveness. So since three stripes by themselves as an embellishment on clothing isn't very distinctive, it's likely that Adidas either purposely or kind of accidentally waited until they were a worldwide brand before they applied to register the three stripe trademark for their clothing. What else can we see here? So here's a description of the mark. The mark consists of three parallel stripes running along the side of a shirt, t-shirt, sweatshirt, vest, jacket, or coat. So note, they have, they have narrowed the scope of their goods so that it only applies to those stripes going down the side of the garment. It's not three stripes on any part of the garment. It's three stripes going down the side of the garment. That's what they're claiming as their trademark. And then they go on to say that the dotted outline of the garment is not claimed, right? It's not claimed. It's intended only to show the position of the mark. So actually their trademark rights are pretty narrow and only cover the stripes in as much as the stripes run along the side of the garment. Let's look at the next trademark. Now this one is for clothing, namely t-shirts, sweatshirts, jackets, and coats. And you can see that again, they have shown this going down the sleeve of the garment and they've also described it thus. The mark consists of three parallel stripes running along the sleeve of a shirt, sweatshirt, jacket, or coat. Notice they don't mention tank tops because tank tops don't have sleeves, right? So you can't put a stripe, a three stripe design down the sleeve of a tank top because tank tops don't have sleeves. So you can see here that while they have claimed the three stripe mark for clothing, the claim of right that they're claiming as their trademark is actually rather narrow. It doesn't mean that they can prevent anybody from putting three stripes on clothing, period. They have narrowly claimed their trademark rights to stripes running along a sleeve, three stripes, not just two stripes or one stripe or four stripes, but three stripes running along the sleeves and also uh, stripes that run down the side of the garment. So that's an interesting look at the Adidas stripe 
trademarks. If you have trademark questions, drop them into the comments below. I'll answer them on a future live video. You can find me online at trademarkdoctor.net. I'm on YouTube at video.trademarkdoctor.net forward slash YouTube. And you can find me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash trademarkdoctor. I come here on weekdays to go live and talk about trademarks and copyrights.